You're loving it. Good sheep. Good sheep. Getting our exercise now, huh? Yeah. Good boy, Willie. So much easier. I don't have to wear a backpack. You don't have to wear a backpack. This is awesome. Good sheep. We just picked up our the base of our covered wagon. He's gonna work on the cover and uh, it'll be welded on top. And it was working though. He's pulled it a mile already. No problem. Hey, where exactly did you see that cougar on the bike path? Right it over here somewhere. Like uh, you saw him off of the bike path? Yeah. Not, uh, not, not crossing the bike path? No, he didn't cross it. He was just rumbling around in there. But they're here. Yeah, no doubt. A bunch of salsa fi here. My sheep's eating the salsa fi. And we got one right here. All parts of it are edible, raw. It's got actually a pretty, uh, pretty awesome tap root uh, that's easy to pull up, even in like hard soil. Uh, but this is called hawk's beard. Hawk's beard. Um, main difference is that it branches off at the stem into multiple dandelion-esque flowers, and it uh, has a noticeably um, hairier leaf. It is much more bitter. Uh, so a wild edible plant, but it's just not uh, nearly as palatable or uh, nice of a texture. So I contacted this Sharon lady who had posted on Facebook about her being a beekeeper. I asked her if I could uh, buy or work trade for any raw um, honey with like the comb and dead bees in it, anything. I just wanted it completely unfiltered. And she said, she did have some but she was interested in gifting it to me and supporting us and what we do and i could not be more grateful this is so beautiful oh my god ah, that is so cool oh my god thank you sharon oh my gosh honey i didn't even go all the way through bushes but oh my god i just cut this blue cheese open this is the oldest one that i've ever aged and it's freaking like pink in the middle and it tastes wonderful i just cut the rind off the other half it's like a cross between a parmesan and blue cheese it's freaking amazing i've had a couple of these turn out where the rind just like peels off they're really good though yeah i'm gonna fry this all up I'm going to fry it all up with my sheep's butter. Yeah. Wild sweet pea shoots, mustard greens, wild parsley, and wild onions. Two different types of my sheep's cheese. I'll fry it up in my sheep's butter. Thank you. Thank you, God. What's this to my body? Well. These ones taste more like Limburger. My farmer gave me the onion, potato tomato, and sweet peppers. And my sheep's fresh cheese. I just had sardines for the first time in my life. I'm like 37 years old, I don't understand. They're awesome, this is so much better than salmon. Boy, it's even fat. They're so awesome. Yeah. You have no problem, no problem doing that. Good job, my woolly. Oh, you got some really bumpy stuff here. Still not much of a problem on <laughs> frustration. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll help you. I'll help you. I have a built-in little tow bar here. It's built to perfect length, so it pulls him, but it pulls, helps pull, right? Yeah, yeah. And lift your yoke, and you're free. Good boy, yeah. Good boy, Willie. Good sheep. Some trash. Yeah, the mentality of a ram is like perfect for, for, for hauling like this. It, I mean, absolutely perfect. Like their whole structure is made for like leaning into, leaning into the weight to take, a, to take a blow from the other ram, you know? So like them leaning into the yoke like this is so natural and they love that they love it.
Yeah, I'll clean. Oh, I couldn't get the little stuff that's just getting ridiculous. It looks a lot nicer. Now we'll move over. Glass. Micro trash. The perfect job for homeless people. Cleaning up homeless people's camp. Mmm, leftovers. It smells, starting to smell good. Let me check it. Whoa, perfect. Oh yeah. Boy. Yes. Oh, you're a good boy. Oh, you're a good boy. You're such a good boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're so strong. Yes. Oh, woolly, 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 woolly. Yeah, you just got so much energy right there. Yeah, good boy. Wow. Oh my goodness. Thank you for asparagus. <laughs> Asparagus. I finally got the first worm to come out. First parasite to come out my poo this season. Eating too much processed food over the winter time. And I straighten up my health in the spring. And just start to eat the leafy greens and my sheep's milk and cheese and my poop starts to look like theirs <laughs> starts to look like big pellets and yeah this is good looking poop and that's a good sign that my system is now optimizing and kicking these little turds out little parasites <laughs>